Hello, hello, dears, and welcome back to the channel Benny Dorm by Anna. Today we are in an extremely special place. It's the first time we're coming here, but it's definitely worth to check it out. Welcome to Torre Vieja Beach Walk. Let's enjoy it together. Torre Vieja is a Mediterranean seaside city in the Costa Blanca region, in the province of Alicante, which is where Benidorm and Alicante are located too. And we are in southeastern Spain. Torre Vieja is about 50 kilometers south from the city of Alicante and the population is quite big. It's more than 90,000 residents here in the area. Originally, this place was a salt mining and fishing village as it's located between the Mediterranean Sea and the two large pink salt lakes known as Salinas de Torre Vieja. It's a very lovely place with crystal clear water. There are several beach areas here, but today we are on the beach of El Cura, La Playa del Cura. It's well, well known beach with a lot of restaurants, bars and cafeterias nearby where locals and tourists enjoy some lovely walk, great views. Someone's giving the pigeons some food, snacks, and in general, this is the most well-known part of Torre Vieja. Even kitties are out here. No one is touching them. I've seen two stray cats, I suppose, here, but they're just sitting on the benches, not touching anyone, not making any harm to anyone and people just leave them calm out there. No one reaches out to them or takes them from here. Torre Vieja's beach walks are very famous. I've seen quite a lot of videos out here, but usually these videos don't bring any information in them. And as you all know, here on the channel, apart from the natural sound of the area we are in, we also try our best to give you some useful information during our videos. It's the first time in Torre Vieja for us, so we will show you what we see as well for the first time. Here we have a sign of forbidden to put all the beach types of objects at night from 2 at night up until 8 in the morning. And Torre Vieja is actually one of the few regions that does give a fine if you put your um, different types of objects, if you leave, for example, or book a place on the beach, you are actually entitled to get a fine if someone catches you uh, with all your belongings out there. For example, if you come early in the morning, you pick up your belongings and in this case, it can be up until 150 euros if they catch you. You can always say it's not yours and you just wanted to take it home with you. I mean, but there is a fine of this type. Let us know if some of you did come to Torre Vieja previously. Did you see many sunbed bookings or maybe umbrella bookings on the beach? Or if it wasn't the case in summer season. Because I do feel like if you know it's forbidden, if there are signs of it, if you know there is a fine for it, I do feel that less people will be trying to do so. Really pleasantly surprised with the Torre Vieja Beach Promenade. I knew it tends to be busy, but I did not actually think it will be like this. Kind of looks similar to Benidorm. There is a lot of restaurants, bars, cafeterias along the seaside. Here we have some shops. Pants for 10 euros, 12 euros right here. Dresses, summer dresses for 22 euros. Hmm. For a short summer dress, I do think it's slightly too much. You can find them cheaper, but all this part of shops obviously is oriented towards tourists what we do see however in torre vieja that i do not see in benidorm are the people who sell things like this on on the street on the ground um, that are selling sun hats sunglasses bags even socks um, different types of footwear etc we do not see it in Benidorm because, well, it's supposed to be forbidden, so we do not see that on the streets. We see other things, though, as potato men, for example, but I do not see usually anyone selling things like this. But here in Torre Vieja, it's quite a common thing, it seems to be. 
look at the beach it's very very nice from here we can see cartagena we can see probably even almeria right there in front of us which is a lovely and it's a pleasant beach side some of the bars are closed this right here rice place rice restaurant will be opening right now in a couple of days in march because they are refurbishing it and renewing there is what we did see there is a little bit of everything here there is um greece type of like greek food there is ice cream places and snack places We've seen typical Spanish food, we've seen international food, Italian, and much, much more. So you will probably be able to find something for your taste and preferences here on the Torrevieja beach side. By the way, to give you slightly more details about Torrevieja, it's a very known place for its special climate too. This is considered um, a hot semi-arid climate with very, very dry and mild winters and hot, very dry summers. October is the wettest month as it is, but nowadays it's not raining anywhere here on the Mediterranean seashore. So even that probably has changed already. And why it's the better climate? Because it's very dry in winter and it's dry in summer. It's very, very good for those who have breathing issues, who have asthma. And since the air, for example, right next to the salines, right next to the salt lakes, the, even the air itself is salty. It has all these minerals in it, so it's great for some health issues. And it's even being recommended by doctors themselves for some specific health issues problems which is why a lot of people come here to live overall the population here is very very um, mixed there is a huge population of russian speaking uh, residents here also there's a lot of people coming from england from scandinavian countries and from all over the world basically even more than spanish probably out here lovely restaurants that people tend to enjoy and some of these as you could have seen right now a couple of seconds ago you can go back and zoom it in and pause it Maybe we'll make a screenshot and check it out better. Uh, there are pizza, pasta places. Pizzas right here cost from around 8, 9 euros up until 14, 15, 16, maybe even 17, depending on which kind of toppings do you put. But on average, I would say prices are more or less the same in this part of Costa Blanca um, as they are in Benidorm. More or less 1, 2 euro difference. It's not a, a lot. Here we have some tourist information. This is very, very small. I suppose it's just to grab some specific information to ask for something. And that's basically it. Very small tourist information office, but I do feel there should be more here in Torre Vieja. Map on where you're located here on the beach of La Cura. And very, very enjoyable beach walk, I must say these type of wooden houses are not open right now they will be shortly for a summer season that's where you can get some snacks you can even sit down ice creams cold drinks uh, something to grab a quick snack before you continue your walk and exploring the area there are a lot of interesting places oh my goodness look at this i'm not putting it on purpose on the camera but these rays of sunshine just look at this See, that's not us, that's the sun. How incredibly gorgeous this looks like with all these rays of sunshine on the water reflecting in it. It looks amazing, isn't it? The most interesting, the places of interest in general here in Torre Vieja so that you would know in case you want to visit it. But we'll be putting you some pictures here on the screen on what they actually look like. The first one you've seen already at the beginning of the video, this was a salt, pink salted lake. It's called Lago Rosa, which is a pink lake basically. These are salines and they are located in the natural park, which there are some excursions to it though, but I don't think it's necessary. You can just go on your own if you have a rented vehicle. If not, then maybe you would need to book an excursion because obviously it brings you with a special bus to it it offers you a transport which is way better and more comfortable if you don't have your own private vehicle apart from pink lake and the salines here obviously there are quite a few churches here in the area 
There is panoramic viewpoint La Torre del Moro, the old watchtower. Uh, there is the Park of the Nations, which is a scale map of the European continent. Museum of the Sea and the Salt, which is what Torrevieja is really famous for and which is how it, it all was created because it was the salt like mining and the fishing village a long time ago. The floating museums as well. The storehouse uh, for this, the old place, like the old storehouse for the salt. Friday, they have some street markets, a lovely place too. There are also natural uh, parks like Water Wheel Park in La Mata, music hall, cultural centers, there's Torre Vieja Municipal Theater here, and much, much more. Museum of Easter, old railway station. We have also water fountains, seaside explanade, the different types of parks and obviously the beach areas we are on the playa del cura right now but there is playa de los naufragos very famous too playa de la mata and playa de los locos the crazy ones beach and obviously there is natural swimming pools and the water park there is a lot here to see and actually it might be a great place to discover. I know some people are coming here on holidays. Probably some of you even who watch our channel have been here at least once. So share please your experience and did you enjoy being here? What did you see? What would you recommend for other fellow travelers that might be looking to book their holidays here in Torre Vieja or at least spend a day maybe or a couple of days here in the area south from Benidorm and Alicante. Let us know if you've enjoyed it. This would be a huge help for all other travelers of Costa Blanca in Spain. Overall, I must say that we are pleasantly surprised with the promenade, at least with this part of the beach. It's a lovely walking promenade. There's a lot of nice places where you can sit down and enjoy the gorgeous views breakfast costs more or less the same just seen it 395 495 for a typical spanish breakfast what i do love is this part right here there are benches made out of stone that are just randomly placed overlooking the sea so if you don't want to go to the beach to sit down or stay here on the promenade you can just go and sit there and i suppose when you have slightly more waves the water might even be reaching your feet which is lovely and refreshing and if you want just some quiet time, some alone time, maybe speak with someone or just maybe even meditate, why not? You can just sit down there close to the water and slightly further away from people. And it's just ideal. I absolutely love it. The real feel and the temperature looks more or less the same and feels more or less the same as in Benidorm is, as in our region of Alicante. And it's sunny, it's nice, it's warm. There is sometimes quite cold wind, but it's something usual for winter time. Although it's already March, technically it's calendar spring. So even though in Spain, spring officially starts with the Easter holidays, where after the fires, after 19th of May, that's when spring officially starts. But calendar spring is already here and you can actually see it. We can see a lot of tourists walking with slippers, flip-flops, you know, bare feet with shorts and t-shirts. People seem to enjoy it. We even smell some sunscreen. That's how you know this season has started already, that summer tourism season has started because you can smell sunscreen back again on the streets and on the beach promenade. By the way, there is another tourism information office which is way bigger than the booth that we've seen here on the beach promenade and it's located on Paseo Vista Alegre without a number. This is where the main tourism information office is located. That's where you can get all the information from. Uh, that's where you can get all the flyers of things happening around Torre Vieja. Ask for all the questions, maybe future events, anything you know. This is where I would recommend you to go to get all the information 
if videos are not enough if you've seen not enough online and you want some special information or something that's happening right now this is where you should be going we personally do feel that Torrevieja might be a destination for several types of travelers depending on which kind of holidays you're seeking for first of all obviously there is a beach area that's great there's a lovely beachside seashore there's a lot of places where to lay down get some nice tan and have a nice swim in the sea obviously promenades the port area a lot of different viewpoints that's a plus great gastronomy as well restaurants are nicely priced it's not too expensive not too cheap either however we did see some cheaper places in the center of torre vieja obviously there's a lot of people who are coming here for health purposes who have like a health tourism of a kind that's also a plus uh, especially those who love sports who love natural parks different types of natural preserved areas We've seen a lot of people going in groups with children with bicycles. Also ideal if you love bike rides. This place has a lot of bicycle trails and in the natural park you can also go with a bicycle. So there's a lot of alternatives depending on which type of tourism you are seeking. But mostly for those who love good weather, sunshine, nice food, nice drinks and the beach the beach area the sea swimming tanning this also could be a best place and we do see a lot of sellers like this my goodness there's a lot of them there's a lot of sellers we call them mantilleros because basically they're bringing these like plates you know where they put all the goods and in case a police officer comes they just pick it up from the four ends and like a santa claus they they have it like in a sack and they run away uh, that's why we call them like this but i did think that it was forbidden out here but there's a lot of them everywhere in the area that's surprising oh look at this just seen menu 15 16 euros that's not bad at all for a menu in a place with these gorgeous views what do you think this is what Playa del Cura and the nearby area is looking like here in Torre Vieja. As you can see, it's extremely busy. There's a lot of people here. There's a lot of movement. Obviously, it's not the same as, um, as Benidorm is, obviously. Uh, but still, we like this area. It's quite interesting to discover it. And it's, this was our first time in Torre Vieja. So we were quite intrigued to see what was waiting for us this day but especially the front line of the beach is wide comfy it's the atmosphere is very nice there's so so many people here families with children and it's actually a great place where to spend the day outside i love that they have different beach areas like calas where to sit down to so it's definitely great did not expect that but we have a very very nice first impression about it thank you for accompanying us on today's informative video we wish you a lovely day and we'll see you in a new video tomorrow bye geez.